we talked about how to fetch data from an API. You can, you can actually fetch data from any API. So we have this, uh, this JSON data, we fetched it from an API and we fetched it and got it in our Angular app, but it's right here in the console. Now we would like to display this data on a UI. The step-by-step -step procedure is right here. So please subscribe to my channel so that you get updated with nuggets like this. So I'm going to place the windows side by side so that we can actually uh, see what is happening right here. All right, so to display an item on a UI, you are going to open the, the HTML uh, component. So let me open the HTML component. Please subscribe to my channel. Just a reminder if you've not subscribed. So everything is going to be in between the container slash container tag. Um, so basically, I, I think this is going to be really short. I don't know, I should have been, this video should have been part of the previous one because I'm not going to be typing all this. Now, if you want to uh, display anything on uh, the UI in the HTML page, you are going to use an Angular markup in this way. Now, if whatever you want to display is a, is a list of items, you need to look through it using NT4 like this, okay? So in this case, I'm going to allow you to figure it out yourself. So friend.id, friend, the first name, friend, the last name, friend, the department, uh, as you can see right here, okay? So that is how it is. So instead of wasting time, I'm going to simply copy this and simply paste it on the page. And let's see what we have. I'm going to copy only the table slash table part and place it on the page inside the container part. So I'm going to uh, paste it right here. So at this point, I'm going to go back here. Okay. So automatically is going to refresh the page. So I'm going to close my console at this time. So at this point, you can see that all these items we fetched from here, these JSON items come from an API now displays on a beautiful UI. But we are not done yet. We should be able to do add new, get, uh, uh, post, put, and delete, edit item. So this we are going to be doing, and we are going to be talking about displaying uh, data on a modal pop-up form after now. Again, I'd like to, like to mention that the procedure is right here. So in case you want to be fast, you want to read ahead of me, actually follow the procedure right here and just do it. But in case you want to go with me step by step, well, you can wait for the next part and I'm going to provide the next part uh, uh, as, as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also please uh, feel free to visit this website and you have uh, all the updates you need every time. If you have any challenges, as I used to say, please let me know in the comment box below because this is a beginner to expert tutorial because I want to actually break it down for everyone to, to follow.